हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट फॉर्म्स ऑफ पोएट्री दैट इज द बैलेड आफ्टर दिस क्लास यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्कस द मीनिंग ऑफ द बैलेड डिस्क्राइब द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एनालाइज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बैलेड एंड एक्सप्लेन इट्स डिफरेंट काइंड The ballad is one of the oldest forms in English, older than Chaucer, and is one of the few that are of native growth. The word ballad means a dance song. Originally, it was a song or collection of songs sung from village to village to the accompaniment of a harp or a fiddle by a strolling singer or band of singers who earned a living in this way. In its earliest stages the singers were accompanied by a troupe of tribal dancers So in this way ballad was a song or collection of songs sung from village to village to the accompaniment of a harp or a fiddle by a strolling singer or band of singers with a troupe of tribal dancers The ballad is a short story in verse originally intended to be sung to an audience since it developed at an early stage in men's cultural evolution its subjects are deeds rather than thoughts and they are of the simplest kind such as memorable feud a thrilling adventure a family disaster love and war and the life the tale is usually tragic and frequently introduces the supernatural elements the ballad has a specific meter and stanza form it is usually written in four line stanzas these stanzas are called quatrains written in iambic meter the first and third lines have four iambic feet and the second and fourth lines have three iambic feet second and fourth line rhyme with each other sometimes the first line is repeated from stanza to stanza the tale opens abruptly without any attempt at systematic introduction it is impersonal in treatment with nothing to show the writer's identity or personality there is no attempt at detail of time or place the ballad belongs to a period when both could be ignored in the interest of this story the ballads are primarily of two kinds first is ballad of growth it is also known as the authentic ballad this ballad has been in existence for ages this form is genuine and having grown up naturally among a primitive race some of the best known authentic ballads or ballads of growth are chevy chase the wife of users well and sir patrick spence the second kind is ballad of art it is also called literary ballad it is the literary development of the traditional form it is considered as the imitative form of traditional ballad some of the best known ballads among ballad of art or literary ones are eve of st john rhyme of the ancient mariner and la belle dame sans merci mock ballad is a minor form of the ballad of art or literary ballad in which comic theme is treated with the seriousness of ballad Cowper's John Gilpin is a famous example of mock ballad. William Maggins' The Rhyme of the Ancient Wagoner, parodying the rhyme of the ancient mariner, is another interesting specimen. So this is all about today's class. Thank you.